Hi there, my name is Mike Catalfamo. I'm the sales engineer here at eBridge Software. You know, most of the time when we implement an integration solution, our customers are the ones who receive orders from partners that resell their product. The goods get shipped by our customer and an invoice is sent out to the buyer. In some cases, however, our customer is the one that issues the purchase order and receives an invoice. Today I'd like to demonstrate the sending of a purchase order and the import of a corresponding invoice using Microsoft Dynamics GP10. I'm going to pull up a purchase order. And we're going to take some note of some details here, namely the PO number PO0997 the vendor ID advanced 0001 and we have one line item with a quantity of one and a total of ninety dollars and twenty five cents. Let's head over to eBridge and run the outbound process and we're going to retrieve and find PO0997 and we're going to select it and export it. Imagine now that this PO has gone out to the supplier and they're going to fulfill the order and they're going to send back an invoice which needs to be received back into the GP system. So let's go ahead now and imagine that your partner has sent you the invoice and we're going to use the inbound process to bring the invoice into GP. The log file shows the result of what happened during this import process and it shows that we created receipt RCT1163 which is actually our invoice. We're going to pull up RCT1163 in Dynamics GP and we can see that we have a vendor document number which is actually the invoice number coming from our supplier for the vendor ID advanced 0001, PO0997 for $90.25.